خب شب دوم ایران هازکاسته بچه ها so right بخاطر چی رنگم پیده بخاطر اینکه دندونم رو انصب کشی کردم آجی حضیت شدم غذا نمیتونم بخورم اومدم پای استیریم دارم وسط انرژی میذارم بعد دو یعنی چیز دیمانی Morgan and Maria gave you kind of a sneak peek at some of what's coming. Today I want to spend a bit more time giving you more information on the core features of War Within, as well as a few things that didn't get mentioned at all yesterday. So, beginning, a teaser there. So, to begin, let's talk Delves. So, what is a Delve? As you heard yesterday, Delves are these quick bite-sized epic adventures for flexible size groups, for so either solo or with up to five players. They are role agnostic, so it doesn't matter if you're a couple mm-hmm. DPS, if you're a healer and a tank, if you're a solo healer, we're going to make it work, we're going to meet you where you are, and how you are. Right. 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 Delves are a new endgame pillar. This is a permanent addition to World of Warcraft going forward, and represents kind of a capstone to the outdoor world experience. میگه این تا آخر و میخوام اینو داشته باشیم. اوکی. میشنوین؟ میگه پروگرس میخواین بکنین اینه. میگه آوتدور پروگرشنه. میگه ما دانجن داریم، رید داریم، آرنا داریم و این دلز همچین چیزیه که قرار همیشه هم بمونه بچه. So structuring this, really we want to approach it as something that you are going to be engaging in all season long with variety and flexibility in how you approach it and the replayability of the, uh, the, replayability of the content is kind of a mainstay of what it's all about. Um, but also want to build in progression. Now I think if you're an outdoor world focused player, a lot of the time it's just about kind of spending your time doing a thing, going to a place, completing an event, but there aren't necessarily goals to work towards. There aren't necessarily reasons to be excited about getting an item upgrade because it's going to let you do something you haven't been able to do before. A difficulty progression built into Delves is going to enable us to offer that. Okay, make it. Now, there's a lot of lessons we've learned. Me خیلی درس یاد گرفتیم از تورگاس از آیلند از سناریا. میگه این همه کانتنت ساختیم چیزای مختلف یاد گرفتیم. Um, we've learned a lot about how to tune these sorts of experiences, how to design them for flexible scaling groups of different sizes of different role compositions, about you know what's fun and what isn't. Is fun, we've also is fun, learned is... based on your feedback about what not to do in some cases in terms of how we structure it, how we present it. And so a key aspect aspect of saying this is an end game pillar is that it's an offering in game, which is a dungeon, a raid. If you want to do this, if this is your jam, if this is your type of gameplay, we are there for you, and we want this to be as deep as you want it to be. If you're happy running the class, and you just want to focus on that, we are not looking to add another item to the checklist of things you feel you have to do to compete. It's an alternative. Unlike Torghast, which is something that you can kind of say, everyone has to do this, whether you like it or not, whether you'd rather do something else or not. مجبور بودن انجام بدن. The philosophies that Morgan touched on yesterday. این بیشتر رو فلسفه بازیه. Designing and evolving World of Warcraft. دیزاین بازیه. You want to respect your time. ما می‌خوام به وقت احترام بذاریم. که انتخاب بکنید چی کار می‌خوام بکنید. دوست دارید سولو بازی کنید، معمولی بازی کنید، پروگرس آوتدور بکنید، آیتم هم ولی بگیرید، اینجوری بگیرید. دوست دارید میتی کلاس بزنید، بزنید. دوست دارید وید برید با 20 نفر برید، برید. این خیلی چیز خوبی بود بچا. عالیه. Um, the vibe here is about unraveling mysteries. It's about exploring. It's about feeling explore an extension, a seamless extension of the outdoor world experience. These are not dungeons. Dungeon Every is not. dungeon is ultimately about killing a series of bosses okay. or dungeon boss like boss bad boss And the dungeon is over when you kill the final baddest boss at boss the end boss, of the dungeon. Boss, 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 and that's kind of the structure that they all have to conform to. As much as, like, as, much as we try that's to right. vary the formula a bit, that's pretty much what they're going to be. In the outdoor world, things are a bit different. We can break some more of the rules. And the way to get away from the one consistent thing about elves is that they're all going to end with a room full of treasure. Some of them will have a fun walk around in front of them. Some of them will be exploring, traversing, solving a puzzle, defeating the enemies, gathering things that you need to open the vault doors. Some of them will be exploring, traversing, solving a puzzle, defeating the enemies, gathering things that you need to open the vault doors. Some of them will be exploring, traversing, solving a puzzle, defeating the enemies, gathering things that you need to open the vault doors. Some of them will be exploring, traversing, solving a puzzle, defeating the enemies, gathering things that you need to open the vault doors. 
When you walk up to, you know, this, uh, as I'll show in a second, a uh, fog door at the entrance to a cave, at the entrance to a structure, and now you're in a delve. You want to make sure this really feels like part of and an extension of the outdoor world. We want to make sure this really feels like part of and an extension of the outdoor world. Now, as part of an endgame pillar, that means we want to tie this into, we're going to tie this into seasons. So, as well as, you know, the end, end game was, we to um, There will be increasing rewards, increasing difficulty, change of pace, but you're in season one, one within season two, Part of that is going to be I level, NPC item, reward, or something like that. We get one of the parts of it is that NPC is with you. As you mentioned yesterday, is our good friend Brand Bronzebeard. Brand Bronzebeard, first level, by my. No. What does this mean? What does the companion mean in practice? Well, it's a few things. It's one, it's definitely as a narrative yeah. hook. It gives us a chance to help give you give give context for your adventures, kind of narrate what you're going. Um, also, it's a chance to kind of play with the mechanics and complement your play style. As brand با مکانیکا سازگاره. You might find some gear for brand. میگه brand هم upgrade میکنید. Item بهش میدید. Specش customizeش میکنید. Play stylesش عوض میکنید. Okay, با حال فانه. Whether you want more survivability, whether you want help with someone to tank, whether you want more control, this can help us balance the experience as well and give you another vector for your progression over the course of the journey. Now I know this has kind of been very high level. I want to just give a couple of specific examples. Just kind of, 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 the life of someone jumping into delves in war within. So let's say Maybe you keep fast going very casually that it means that bazi mikoni to jazira drone map aval. This structure with the door set into it. Ke tulo dar vurudish meh gerefte. So as you venture in, um, you are as I mentioned seamlessly in the delve and you will find just huddled inside the entrance a group of expedition scouts who have come to this place to so great secrets and treasures, powerful relics stored within, but they've been unable to proceed further. Because they tell you that the brand is among them, mind you. This place, there's, there's an unnatural, there's a disturbing darkness that has settled over this entire vault. And fortunately, they have in their possession a relic that they have brought that is an enchanted candle that can light the way has a bubble light radius around it um, if you think that to Vault of the Warden and you remember that in Legion of the Warden if you Vault of the Warden you remember that you remember that it was a dark scary place but you can put it in the darkness to guide your way you have one of those but they tell you it has very limited fuel ولی میگه میگه منابعشون کمه یا ممکنه گیر بکنی تو تاریکی و تاریکی های اون داخل شما رو بکشه میگه شما مثلا برای فرض کن میگه در مثال میزنه میگه اون شما میگیرید که منابعتون هم کمه و واحد تالار میشید دالان میشید but there's a lot of kobolds in here, and as you know, as any World of Warcraft player knows, where you find kobolds, you're going to find candles. And this guy's going to put up a fight, but it being World of Warcraft and all, you're going to take. Boy, no, I'm going to take the candles. And you're going to take the candles. And you know, that will help fuel this magic light that you have. And you know, that will help fuel this magic light that you have. And you know, that will help fuel this magic light that you have. And you know, that will help fuel this magic light that you have. And you know, that will help fuel this magic light that you have. And you know, that will help fuel this magic light that you have. And you know, that will help fuel this magic light that you have. And you know, that will help fuel this magic light that you have. And you know, that will help fuel this magic light that you have. And you know, that will help fuel this magic light that you have. And you know, that will help fuel this magic light that you have. And you know, that will help fuel this magic light that you have. And you know, that will help fuel this magic light that you have. And you know, that will help fuel this magic light that you have. Um, work in progress of treasure room. He has various types of sizes. Some of the smaller ones, you can just walk up and open, collect a range of items, currency, rewards. Item or what we call them, mount item, mount to treasure. A couple of extra large resplendent treasures in this room. Those may require special keys to open. Now those keys you would obtain from doing kind of outdoor content, weekly quests. They're a bit more limited in how you can get them, but also allow us to offer and pace out the best rewards. They're on par with some other endgame content to make sure it's not, you know, 
infinitely grindable or anything like that. میگه برای اینکه مطمئن بشیم که به صورت اینفینیت بی نهایت گریندش نمی‌کنید اسپام بزنیدش بعضی‌هاشو سخت‌تر ساختیم که برید مثلا گشت و گذار کنید دوباره برگردید اونایی که دنبال کار سولو اوت دور هستن dealing with some different challenges along the way. Variety, replayability, lots of layers. Variety مختلف داره، نوعی مختلف داره. همشون شکلی نیست. Heading off to a different. وقتی میگه برمیگردید میرید یه جای دیگه map. یه غار یه غار میبینید که پر از مثلا مشروم پر از غارچ. Maybe not being the wisest adventurer, that sounds like a great place to enter. So, you take a few steps forward. In here, You might find an environment where, whether it's due to unusual ores or whatever, rules of gravity are a bit topsy-turvy. Maybe because to in job, gravity is so that gravity fails to hold the object. And we have to skip over it. And we have to skip over it. And we have to skip over it. We're trying to get the idea, like this is more the world as toy vibe that we try to play with. We're trying to make it more the world as toy vibe that we try to play with. We're trying to make it more the world as toy vibe that we try to play with. We're trying to make it more the world as toy vibe that we try to play with. We're trying to make it more the world as toy vibe that we try to play with. We're trying to make it more the world as toy vibe that we try to play with. We're trying to make it more the world as toy vibe that we try to play with. We're trying to make it more the world as toy vibe that we try to play with. We're trying to make it more the world as toy vibe that we try to play with. We're trying to make it more the world as toy vibe that we try to play with. We're trying to make it more the world as toy vibe that we try to play with. We're trying to make it more the world as toy vibe that we try to play with. We're trying to make it more the world as toy vibe that we try to play with. We're Um, scattered throughout the four zones, each themed around the ecologies, each themed around the settings that you're going to find. Now, some of the attentive among you may be saying, "Wait a minute! Morgan slide said there were 13 delves yesterday." Maybe Morgan goes, "Six dev." There also might be a secret delve that you have to explore. Maybe Bali Bazam secret devs there. Maybe the rest of you just go to six dev. Bali, more than that. Loot. Loot. Part of being a seasonal pillar means. Okay. Make it to your great vault. Ward, especially ward, you know. Dungeon playing, brethren, have also had the pleasure to enjoy. Yeah, hold on, it's outdoor. We just just want to make sure you don't feel left out. So you're welcome. Yeah, so you'll note this isn't this isn't a delves row. This is a world row, and really that is enshrining these three PVE pillars: raids, dungeons, world. You'll be able to unlock some of these slots doing select outdoor world activities. As well as, of course, delves with better rewards from higher difficulty delves. We get sachti delve about a third of the reward by time making. Is that this should reach to, let's say, end boss heroic raid, mythic ten to fifteen type range. We get items, bonus, and raid a heroic, yeah, for example, mythic plus, mythic plus ten to fifteen. Pass you the ball, yeah. Yani, in fact. آیتم رو آزاد آزاد میکنه برای همه که مجبور نباشید میتید پلاس بزنید می حالا پی بی پی چی؟ می پی پی توش نیست یه حواسون بهتون هست میگه پی بی پی رو از گرید والد پاک میکنید Based largely on feedback that we've heard Randomness and پی بی پی گیرنگ may be or not the best combination میگه رندوم بودن جایزه رندوم گرفت گرفتن یه خورده میگه طول کشید ما اینو متوجه بشیم میگه گیت والت هم حتی نمیخوام رندوم باشه میگه کاری که میخوایم بکنیم اینه که کانکوست بیشتری میگیرید و میگه کلا میگه توانایی بهتون میدیم که بدونی چی میخوایم بگیرید که دیگه رندوم نباشه You don't have the awkward choice of that raid trinket versus the PVP item. Maybe that in June, I wish that, for example, one of them is also raid, or one is PVP, or one is PVP. Not one, for example, between trinket and PVP or Shamshir and PVP, he can choose. Because one doesn't have the option to choose. Maybe in June, we can choose the option between PVP and whatever you want. Now, aside from you know just power, win, big win. You get silly hats. Nothing more to say here. Man, I got all the cosmetic cards that I need. Come on, let's go. او این عجب دافیه بچه ها عجب دافیه این 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 عجب Through thorough completion of the delve experience, you note the customizability of it. This will be customizable the same way you can customize your current dragon riding drakes at the rostrum. Just modularly. Bacho pashmon, mount customizable. 
میگه مانتا رو میگیم میسازیمش مانتا yeah. عادی که همه سوار میشن نه آقا میگه تیک تیکر رو میخوایم بسازیم واربنز I feel like I could probably just save 10 minutes this panel by just saying account wide everything and like just click through the next slides. But it kind of that. میگه در واقع همینه همه چیو اکان وایند کردیم واسهتون. ببین همه این بهترین چیزی که واقعا با انجام دادم. میگه همه تون آلت دارید. I'm مختلف دارید. میگه میخوایم به وقتتون احترام بذارید به کسی که پشت پی سی نه اون هیرو. The app, two thirds, two thirds of players who have a level 70 have multiple level 70s. Half of the players have three or more. Um, most people are playing multiple characters a week. Vale. And that's not something the game, you know, it's no secret, has always done the best job of supporting. میگه قبلا فلسفه بود فرق داشت و مدیریت انجینرینگ یعنی در واقع موتور بازی سازیمون هم فرق داشت But we've kind of inherited. We're still working with. We have been working with. Yeah, we're still working with. To this day. 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 بچه همه چی الان عالیه ترید گل ترید آیتم اکشن هوست بین همه شیره گیلدا گیلدا قراره بین رن بازی کنی هورد آلاینس ما هم بازی میکنن و فقط مونده بود این این تای تایشه بچه این بهترین کاری که بریزارت کرده بچه میگه مثلا با آلت بیا از اول همه رو انجام بدی مثلا دوباره بگیری دینا هم بگیری میگه اگه لازم نباشه این کار رو بکنیم چی؟ میگه ما بیایم پای اساسا رو از اول بسازیم یه فیچر جدید ساختیم که همیشه هم میمونه تو آینده هم قرار بمونه که دیگه ما با این سیستم نمی جنگیم کاملش کردیم Removing barriers, removing awkwardness in playing alts. Ke khodrat nayem, power na bashe flexibility bejosh biarim. People already want to do it if they do it. Um, one thing the system is not going to be is something that awards you power or makes your main. The system betor qabi nemi kone. Hi chizi nisti ke masam betor betor qabi takor character bene character ta antekhab bokani. If you want to play alts, do so. Ba alt bazi kone. Focusing on a single character. Ya dost teri fasam ye hero bashi bash. Now let's talk about some examples. Ni bade masal bade. مثلا این بانک واربنزه بانک هیروتونه همه هیرو چیزه همه هیرو بانک اکان وان باند بانک اکان وان ده همه هیرو بانک یه بچه راست میگه دیگه وقتی تو میتونی ترید بکنی بین کارکترها دیگه اصلا برای چی باید تو اصلا دلیل نداره تو بخوای وقتی میتونی ترید کنی وقتی هم میتونم هورد آیس بازی کنی خب کل اکانت یه بانک داشته باشه You can organize them as you want. The very observant, the eagle eye will notice a little checkbox mentioning reagents. Um, if you deposit reagents here, you can craft from the account-wide storage on any of your characters. Okay, how to make it? To crafting them, tasty to do the right job. Crafting them, for example, account-wide. Maybe a little new thing. Uh, something that might you might put in this account-wide storage are the ability we will now have to create. Warbound items that are warbound. Yeah, I tell you, we do the best one. Warbound, the warbound. That you can't sell in the auction house or trade, but that you can give to any of your other characters for their use. Yo, about fans. Yo, about fans. Bacho, by her hero, he has item. He drop it. Can you drop it? Can you? Yani, be barish. Get it? Biad. مثلا من وارلاک هم میتونم شمشیر بداشته باشم شمشیر گونده و این شمشیر واربونده سول باوند نیست وارباونده و میتونم بدمش به یه هیروی دیگه هم بدمش با از وارلاک هم بدمش به واریون یا مثلا از وارلاک هم مثلا اگه به واریون اتونم بدم مثلا اگه آیتم کلوس دراب بکنم بدم به پیریست هم بدم به میجن اتمالا اینجوریه چون اینجوری to gear up your main faster, but just easy potential hand-me-downs, ways of getting an alt caught up, maybe even an excuse to level an alt if you get a really cool item for a class that you haven't had a chance to get up yet. 
So just an extra layer here, hopefully, you know, making it easier than ever to progress to accomplish your goals on multiple characters. multiple characters, but you Right, now quick rundown of some of the other integrations we have planned. Transmog. Transmog. Transmog has always been, you know, it's been for a long time. Transmog is very often happening. The key thing here now that really that is being acquired by your warband. میگه با واربند حالا میگه حالا میره اولدوار مثلا میزنی با میجت شولدر رو پلیت دراب کردی شمشیر واریور دراب کردی میگه میدیش به واربند میدیش میره مثلا با میجت من با وارلاک بین بچه ها من منتظر همچین سحنه ای بودم پاز میخوام بدم بچه ها هایج وارلاک هستم احتمال خیلی زیادی هدف دونیت بذارم وارلاک هم دیلیت کنم احتمالا این کار میکنم یه کلا وارلاک بازی نکنم میام واریور بچا نه دیگه همه چی شیر دیگه وقتی همه شیر دیگه تمام شد دیگه من دلیل ندارم وارلاک بازی کنم hopefully you don't need to feel like you can refarm the same stuff on as many دیگه لازم نداره فقط میتونم لذت ببرم فقط اونا فاز کنم اونا حال کنم میرم واریور تموش نمیخوام دیگه وارلاک باشم فاک وارلاک هاجی واریور از کام رپوتیشنام بچا میشه شیر we're probably going to start with dragon flight renowns as a priority یک از دلایلی که من این کار نمی‌کردم چون همه چیزم توی هیرون بود. هیچ کاری نمی‌تونستم بکنم. راست اون بنده. رپوتیشن همه چی شیر بود. راحت شدیم بچه‌ها. راحت. آزاد شدیم. فلایت پس ها همه چی بسا میگه مثلا فرش گفت فلایت پس با یه هیرو همه رو آن، آنلاک کردیم برای همه آزاده چرا باید برای هیرو دو دوبار از انجام بدی کریزی And here's an example of, you know, something new, just delves. Uh, an example of how having this as a foundation means that we can build new systems to inherently work at an account-wide level, just kind of as part of their DNA. As you are advancing Bran as a companion, as you are empowering him, as you're customizing him, again, logging on to a different character and going back to having a weaker Bran that doesn't offer the tools that you've grown accustomed to, that's more frustrating than fun to re-earn those things. Let's make that progression inherently warband level, inherently account-wide. Okay. میگه واربندت بگیره همه گرفتن مثلا میگه که چه میدونم میگه اگه مثلا با یه هیرو گلادیاتور شی همه هیرو گلادیاتوره یا مثلا میگه فرض کن یه اچیومنتی که میگه مثلا ده از صد رو جمع بکن ده تا رو جمع کرده باشی برای هیرو بعدی دیگه صرف نیست برای همه اچیومنت همون تیکش رو خورده بچه این یو آی جدید بازیه هیرو هایی که این شکلی هن واربند هن آلیه نظر نظر قلب واسه آجی والاک بزن که با این دندون در نشسته واسه تون در استیم میکنه قلب بکو میگه میتونی کارکتر هایی که دوست داری و بکنی تو واروند که نشستن دور آتیش میگه تو همه اینایی دیگه فقط یه هیرو نیستی همه شونی یه چیزی که هیر If you're very eagle-eyed, also by the way, if you're very eagle-eyed, don't read too much into things like the uh, evoker wearing leather. That's just, it's, inter it's, it's internal mock-ups. We're not changing anything crazy there. Um, sorry. But you will note that the evoker is level 13. That's going to be a thing that's possible because they'll start a level. The evoker is going to be the point of the evoker. The new leveling expansion, by the way, going forward. Uh, one thing you might notice is there isn't really much here about realm selection. Warbands are a realm agnostic, faction agnostic feature. You will just see all your characters here. If they're on different servers, we'll make it clear that they're on different servers. Yeah, get to the server. Like go to the change realm. That they be already shown in our. Compassion, we're going. Aha, we're going. 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 We're going.
ترنت هم که توضیح دادیم دیشن میگه به ما اجازه میده که بیشتر به فانتزی کلاس ها برسی کنیم که مثلا دارک رینجر برای هانتر فارسیر برای شمان که میره توی داستان بازی که کلاس ها منو فانتزی شو قوی تر This is a completely flexible system. It's as flexible as your current talents and specs. Nothing like or anything like that. میگه مثل کابینت اینا نیست. هر موقع دوست داشتید میتونید عوضش بکنید. میتونید تالنت تون میگه مثل تالنت میتونید سویپ بکنید. میگه فقط تالنت. فلکسیبل آزاده. این هدف ما چیه که به شما یه خورده چالش بیشتر بدیم. ده تا تالنت پوینت بد میده که مرسی محمد پاتونیس بابت پنجه تون دارید خوش اومدیم بچه هم محمد نوشته که دمت گم که با درنون در درستیم چی کار کنم حاجی با حالاکه موسیقی میگه مثلا دروید بالانس مثال بچه هر کلاس سه تا انتخاب داره سه تا یعنی مدل داره و هر اسپیک دو تا از اون سه تا دو تاش میتونه انتخاب بکنه مثلا بالانس بین الون چوزن و کیپر آف دی گروف میتونه انتخاب بکنه یعنی اون بالانس دروید رو باز فنتزی داستانیش میکنه که الون این رو انتخاب کرده یا محافظ دریمه Y'all are complicated. Um, we figure <laughs> there's four specs, three roles. We figure let's try some of the hardest cases first when proving out a design. It's nothing against it. Yeah, it. But there's a reason why you probably tend to see more druid examples than other classes because we figure if we can make it work for druids, the rest will be okay. Um, the two options available to a balanced druid are this Keeper of the Grove tree and a Ludens Chosen. Keeper of the Grove is available to balance and restoration. میگه مثلا کیپر آف دی گروپ برای بالانس دروید و رستوریشن الون دروید برای گاردین و بالانس میگه مثلا از جنگل کمک بخوای یا از الون قدرت لونار قدرت ما یکیشو ولی میشه انتخاب کنه این خواله اولی مثال داریم پسیوه میگه مثلا ترنتاز قوی سر میکنه میگه برات مثلا ترنتا مهمتر میشه 
که بعضی هاش خیلی پسیوه های ساده یه همه هاش ابلیتی نیست نه میگه مثلا یکی مانا رژین تو بهتر میکنه استرال پاور رو در قوی تر میکنه You know, passives could just augment your abilities, your resource pool, and just make you a better druid. An example of choice node, um, mm -hmm. again, this can be about doubling down on and getting more out of having the tree inside. Yeah, for example, some of you two are going to have talent. All of your eggs in that basket, even though you are going into. For example, now going to talent. 20 درصد هیله بیشتر بده یا نه مثلا اینو بگیری استار سورجت 8 درصد بیشتر بزنه استار فال 4 درصد کلا قوی ترمون میکنه ببین مثل آرتیفکت ریپن و کاوننت ولی مجبوری نیست و هم... یعنی مثلا کاری نمیکنه مجانی بهمون میدن و قرار نیست پاک بشه و همیشه میمونه قوی تریم کلا قوی تر میشه و حق انتخاب داریم و میتونیم حال کنیم بینش تلنتمون رو باز تلنتر میکنن مثل وقتی که مثلا ما تلنت انتخاب میکردیم من وارلاک میرفتم دیسترکشن و بعد آرتیفکت هم قوی سر میکردم آرتیفکت وی پن میگرفتم این همون جوریه ولی اوز به دیگه تلنت پاک نمیشه مثلا میگه لوناره بین بالانس و درود گاردین شیره یعنی هم بالانس بتون نخواب بکنه هم درود تانک Um, if you're a guardian druid, for example, you might read this and realize that yeah, like lunar beam is going to become a pretty powerful defensive cooldown, yeah, especially in that. Lunar, lunar, lunar beam, for example, قوی میشه, full moon قوی میشه, fury of lunar قوی میشه. وقتی اولی رو بگیری. بچه من نه وقت زیاد حرف بزن. Moon can side. This of course adds an extra layer to planning and you know throughput in your rotation. بچه من یه لازم گوش بدم. Noting a couple of these things that we're modifying, maybe deeper optional talents in your existing spec trees. We also, where we can, want to offer ways to make sure that you can trigger those effects, even if you don't have the baseline talent, though you'll probably want to as well. So this talent um, just has Fury of Elune triggered as you're doing your regular rotation when you Moonfire, both just naturally, you know, it's a powerful effect that's going to fire more frequently, but also to the extent that the rest of the Elune's chosen tree is tying into it, you'll get those benefits as well. A couple of more passive examples here, um, again, just doubling down on magnifying your arcane lunar throughput and a final capstone ability for this tree that is further reinforcing these core have already been augmented. We'll leave this slide up for a while. Um, these are our current plans for all 39 of the hero spec, so one per current specialization. There's some cool fantasies here to explore. Um, definitely okay. really curious to hear چه باحال پس اسمش رو بخونم فانتزی هاشو مثلا یه روگ این ستا رو داره دس استارکر تریکستر فیت باوند شامان استون برینگر فار سیر توتمیک وارلاک سول هاروستر هل کالر دیابولیست واریور کالاسوس اسلایر ماونتن تین مونکا ماستر اف هارمونی شادو پان کاندویت اف سلستیال Paladin, Light Smear, the Hell Out of the Sun, Templar, Priest, Void Weaver, Oracle, Archon, Evoker, Chrono Warden, Ruby Adept, Scholomancer, Hunter, Sentinel, Pack Leader, Dark Ranger, Mage, Sun Fury, Frostfire, Espel Singer, Death Knight, Rider of the Apocalypse, Sand Lane, Sand Lane of the Lich King, Deathbringer, Demon Hunter, Aldarchi River, Fell Scarred, Druid, Keeper of the Grove, Elune Choser, Wild Stalker, Druid of the Claw. Community feedback on all these, which are exciting, which are most resonant, which sound, frankly, maybe a bit lame. Um, are there any that you hoped you'd see on here that you're not seeing on here? We are you know, well underway building these out. But it's definitely early enough for us to pivot on a lot of these if there's something the community is really excited about. I want to like triple super underscore. You know, the example talents I just gave are work in progress, very subject to change. Yeah, part of the game is more, you know, prone to iteration. And for no part of the game is the community input more essential than class design, spec design. To that end, 
when we you know, move into our alpha, probably in the spring, um, we want to have as many as possible playable from the start. So that we have the entire alpha and beta window and beta playable from the start. So that we have the entire alpha and beta window to iterate on them, to replace the things that aren't working, to dial them all in to where everyone's going to be excited about what they're getting and more within. It's a long road ahead. We can't wait to share that journey with you and really just collaborate and discuss back and forth. پنج تا نود هم بیشتر نیست پنج تا نود هم یعنی پنج تا چیز بیشتر میخواب نکنید و یه خیلی چیز بودیه به نظر من آفرین چون نه دیگه اینقدر ساده است نه دیگه مثل موی بارت پاور قرض گرفتنی که پاک بشه الادریس یو گت تو بی این ارثن آسوم بلینگد اوت دوارفز یا میبی نات سو بلینگد اوت اف یو وانت کاستمایز دم دیفرنتلی These are going to be earned just by playing through the war within campaign fully. There's no repetitive. To grind here, nothing else beyond that. It's easy. Oh, fine. Milizat, taze. Baby, I'm going to show you something. Oh, one heart for me. Let me tell you. Haji Wallah, I said. I said. Dragon Flight. I said. 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 این نسخه نسخه‌ای دیگه بهتره اون رو تو وار ویدین کامل کرد. You are meeting the earthen as you know it's it's a first contact in essence you're going to work with them. Warband خدای. You're going to work with them. Warband بهترین کاری که بلیزارد کرده به نظر برای بازی کردن. It will be a natural next step for them to lend you their aid and join you as either horde or alliance. So yes, horde dwarves. We haven't yet finalized what the racial abilities are going to be, but the available classes, 10 out of the 13 available classes. میگه از 13 تا کلاس 10 تا رو میتونن بسازن. میگه دیمن هانتر رو دروید و اووکر نمیتونن، بقیه رو میتونن. Everything but druid, demon hunter and evoker. Now on the right side here you see a concept of the heritage armor you'll be able to earn from leveling. میگه این کانسپت آرت هرتیج آبر. Dynamic flight. Dynamic flight. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Dynamic flight. So it was obvious very early on in Dragonflight, um, probably before Dragonflight even released in beta, that we could never go back to how it used to be. Honestly, we hope. میگه بعد از دراگون فلایت که دراگون رایدینگ آوردیم دیگه نمیشه برگشت. یعنی الان راست هم میگه دیگه میگه مج دیگه کلا این کارو کردیم. همه مانتا دراگون رایدینگ بشه. That would be the outcome. We hope the feedback would be this is so awesome. We just want this to be how flying works forever. میگه فیدبک کارو شنیدیم. We immediately began, you know, making plans for, for what that would mean because you know, it's, just, it's the only. کهال کردیم با دراگون رایدینگ واقعا حال کردیم. So dragon riding is going to become the default, no longer just dragons, uh, but dynamic flight now. بهش دیگه بهش دراگون رایدینگ نمیگیم بهش میگیم داینامیک فلایت وی وانت میک شور او ویر ای منت تو هاف تو مانتس هیر بات ای اونلی سی اشز اون دی رایت بات انیوی ام دی فقط اجدها نیست تصور کن با مثلا مانت لیچ کینگ پر بخوریم وی وانت تو اسپاند دیس تو دی is that you don't have much reason to use so many of the mounts that are your favorite. dragon riding ke midinim chi yani ke dalil nadaram mount dige savar shi. Dige vali alan hame chi yo mituni savar shi. Not every single flying mount is going to be able to support dynamic flight. There's some you know, animation logistics to work with there. Dige hame mount nis ye seri mushkilat animation ni wujud dare. Dige durust mikanim. Any as we can. It's a three digit number. We want a very wide array. of mounts being able to just fly the way you've always done it and enjoyed with your hands. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of fun. Just to clarify, this is the future of flying. So everywhere that you can fly today, you'll be able to dynamically fly or dragon ride. In fact, not just in... Oh shit, available in all flyable areas. We can do all this work. تمام مپا بچا in the war within a uh, little sneak peek i think in our upcoming 1025 update you'll be able to dragon ride in eastern kingdoms kalandor northrend outland you name it و این آپدیت تو 10 و نیم میاد بچا تو 10 و نیم 10 و نیم او شت 
We also, want, we also understand there are some folks um, for accessibility reasons, personal preference reasons, maybe you just like being able to AFK in, in midair, that you know, dragon riding isn't your favorite. We don't want to take anything away. We want to let all these mounts that can currently you know, do the old school flying mode toggle between dragon riding or let's call it TBC flying. Up to you, whatever you prefer. دو تا پو دو تا حالت داره هم میتونی دراگون رایدینگ بشه شو... میگه مثلا تو دوست ای اف کی کنی چون حالت عادی اج... مثلا فلای وای میسه میتونه رو هوا وایسه دراگون رایدینگ وای نمیسه داینامیک میگه میتونی انتخاب بکنی مثلا به سویچ بکنی تو حالت عادیش مثلا از دنده اتومات بکنی دنده دستی مثلا پشما ایول And again, to be, clear, to be clear, dynamic flight will be available from the very start when you go to Castle Gar in the Isle of Dorne, just as it was in Dragon Flight. Mega dynamic flight as hamun avalam has niyaz be kuh estam nadalit. Kom basalam be khodegi dragon riding tu ye avval battle for Azeroth tam as dragon flight as hamun avval bud. Vali khub dastan dashti ki ba dastan shan jam bidadi. Old school TBC flying, Pathfinder style, will not be available right away, but it will be unlocked shortly after reaching max level with no reputation grind requirements. Just play through the campaign, explore the continents, then you can fly that way as well. Um, the existing dragon riding glyph system in the Dragon Isles, um, we, we want to pivot that to a bit more of something that's evergreen. Some of those oh, unlocked shit. traits may, may change to only work within the Dragon Isles, others that are that are more essential to just the experience feeling good like vigor increases regenerates the active abilities are just going to be things that you will inherently get as you earn dynamic flight and level up naturally we don't want down the line players to feel like they have to go back to an old expansion and fly around and collect a bunch of glyphs okay. just to be able to explore the new expansion میگه یه کاری کردیم که نخواهی بری اکسپنشن دراغون فلایت رو بازی کنی مثلا تلنتاش رو آزاد کنی ابلیتی ها رو بگیری تو همین اکسپنشن این کار رو میکنی And in that vein this is going to be the new default for leveling players I mentioned earlier um, when War Within comes out instead of BFA Dragon Flight will be the new leveling experience that you merge into as a new player after you leave Exile's Reach میگه بعدی که Exile Reach رو رد بکنی لبل دو رد بکنی برای نیو پلیر ها میری تو دراغون فلایت دیگه بی اف ای در کار نیست تو هم تجربه لیول اپ از اول بازی هم تو میگیری کلن فلایت هم پرواز کردن هم قوی میشه برای مخصوصا نیو پلیر ها عالی هست Um, New Battleground. This is long overdue. We, we, we really, we should have been doing this. We was the There's a new Bash. Battleground coming in War Within. It is a 10v10 map set in the Ringing Deeps. Map of Dahbe 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 Um, the idea is, unlike Silver Shard Mines, which is radial symmetry, this is more you know, mirrored and re re reflects the two sides trying to both push clear. their own mine carts to collect resources, while also fighting off the central world to change in the outcome and the momentum of the world. Because in the world, they are going to change the outcome and the momentum of the world. Because in the world, they are going to change the outcome and the momentum of the world. Because in the world, they are going to change the outcome and the momentum of the world. Because in the world, they are going to change the outcome and the momentum of the world. Because in the world, they are going to change the outcome and the momentum of the world. The layout. There's no point making it look pretty if the spacing isn't correct, if the exact paths aren't correct. That's going to be the next step. Can't get this in front of everybody to start testing in alpha and beyond. To alpha and beyond. And this isn't just a one-off. We want to keep adding new battleground maps going forward. This is an essential part of the game. Neget, neget, and I'm going to be using BG Beta in front of you. And you know, I mentioned 10 v 10, but we are just about to undertake a little 8 v 8 solo queue RBG exper experiment. Maybe my solo queue rated battleground. So depending on how that goes, can be you him. may be experiencing this one 8 v 8 as well. So stay tuned. Um, otherwise, we have you know a few ongoing interface updates that we're continuing to work on. You know, in Dragonflight, we. Overhauled the the hard action bars. We have the dragon flight. We have the action. 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 We have the
that was just the beginning. This is something we're we'll we'll chipping we'll away at, updating different pieces of the UI to be more streamlined, better reflective of the modern gameplay experience. Bana. So just a couple of examples here. Um, so the spellbook. We are looking to spellbook. What should we change? We should modernize it. We should update it. More than like a 1024 by 768 monitor resolution. Okay, um, monitor. Ideally, you're not going to have to flip through multiple pages to find some ability that's not combining this with our talent screen. If you look at the tabs at the bottom, we get Some light, light updates here. I think you know, improving the overall aesthetic of the quest log, the quest window. Um, think if this is harder to show off just in a single screenshot, but we are. Yeah, yes, we should start with the show. To allow you to hide and show different objectives, to see more quests available at once. You are better. Then we can keep filter better. It's just to be sure. When the quests are different, they are different. They are different. They are different. You are better. You can keep better. You can see quests between daily and quests of the week or quests of the week. You can see them. Really, it is a color blindness issue for you know the range of quest bangs where the only difference is what color it is. Um, and again, this is just a couple of examples of ongoing efforts. We really, this is a project that will never be done. We're just going to continue to update the UI. Uh, yes. So this this one basically speaks for itself. Uh, you know, I've mentioned earlier, you know, your best cross realm guild. Guild the cross realm. I'm using it. So many of the activities that players engage in socially. Span multiple realms. You have a ray group. You have a mythic plus group that you run with. Group that you PVP with. But you can't be in the same guild together. Not any longer. That's a thing that will change when more within. Being in realm, I bet you meet with guild. For example, as Kazakh, meet with us. We guild. We are in the world. Being in a guild when it comes to accessing the perks of being in a guild. It is crazy. But as you also said, the cross realm guild, cross realm terrain. AH item war band reputation hamish hamish item we can give you alt trade us with you alt if your guild is cross realm and your guild wants to raid mythic you should be able to do that day one so no more realm restrictions there می گه از هم روز اولم realm mythic آزاده دیگه لازم نیست چن پول چن realm بدیم بچا همش the Hall of Fame will still exist just kind of as a you know memorial of accomplishment but it's not going to be tied to Unlocking anything anymore—that's just there day one. And really, just philosophically, this is another step towards one of our. The philosophy, we are taking a step forward. We are opening up the world to the social world, to make it more free. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. I'm going to give you another one. Thank you. Of war within features. I know there's still a bunch of more information to share. Can't wait to do that in the coming days and weeks. But to begin, I'd like to invite everybody. If you have questions, if you're here at BlizzCon, go to the Darkmoon Fair in Hall D. You can drop off questions there. If you want to go to the Mantare BlizzCon, to the Felon Salon, classic subreddits or our official forums, and either ask your questions there. Etamalan Amor can Oitama in Judith, or some man of man of Warlock, I get dagger begidam, the intellect to share, but a major mutual befest for both classic, but to put them dagger better than Nios is Hatman, Bone Major Dora Bokon, and Boyan and Dora Kadam Midam Balta. John Warbound, I mean, in the Yehiroi, in the Yehiroi, you find me. همه هیرات یکیه و این چیز خوبیه این عالیه اما آرکین so much for joining us we are so excited to begin this journey together with you can't wait for the war within enjoy the rest of blizzcon enjoy the rest of the weekend i love you all guys blizzcon لذت ببرید بس ببینیم در ادامه چی داریم بکنم میره تو بخش دیابلو یه لحظه وایسید من یه کوچولو بزنم جلو ببینیم الان چی داریم در راجب چی صحبت میکنه فکرم هنوز بخش بعدیش شروع نشده خب آره بخش بعدیش بچه شروع نشده ولی من بیسیکلی من راجب خیلی چیزا هم صحبت کردم و راجب مقادر میگم اطلاعات بسیار زیادی حرف زدیم در این نسخه 
یه رفرش دیگه هم براتون سری جلی هم بکنم البته بحث داستانی و بچه من براتون یه ویدیو دیگه میخوام بذارم یعنی براتون کاملا میخوام یه ویدیو بسازم براجع به داستان راجع به یه مسائل داستانی ولی واربند رو بسیکلی توضیح داریم دوز هم توضیح داریم که خیلی چیز مهمیه واقعا دوز واقعا جام تو یک عرصه جدیده که آوتدور کانتنت فقط اینجوری نباشی که اصلا هستش میتونی بزنی و قوی بشی میتونی باش آیتم بگیری چیزی که من تو دراگون فلایت میگفتم که باید قوی بشه و سیزوناله هر, هر سیزن قوی ترمون میکنه چیزای مختلفی داره دیگه ما همین رو در واقع بررسی کردیم و خب یه رید داره رید و باس آخرش هم ملکه نورو بیاناس که بازارتاس همکاری میکنه چند تا مپ داره و این مپاش بحث گفتگوی داستانی داره چهار تا مپ داره و اسم اونجا از کازلگار که همونجا که میدونستیم آیل آف دورن اولین مپ بعدش هم در رینگین دیپسه و بعدش هم هالو فاله و بعدش هم از کهته و در کنار اینا ما هشت تا دانجن خواهیم داشت چهار تاش توی لیول اپه و چهار تا دیگرش در مکس لیوله و مکانیک زون هاش اینجوریه که مثل زرل کوین بدون لودینگ میریم پایین بدونی که لودینگ وجود خواهد داشت و رید نوروبیان هم که گفتم هستش و فوکسشون هم خیلی تلاش کردن که یه کاری بکنن که پلیرها رو پشت به تایمشون ارزش قائل شن پشت پی سی واربند و هیرو تلنت رو هم توضیح دادیم چیزای خوبی داره این, این نسخه این نسخه واقعا واقعا جدی بهتون میگم با تمام چیزایی که از دراگون فلایت هم گرفت و تمام کاری که داره میکنه بدون تعارف بهتون میگم بهترین نسخه برای گیم پلیه یعنی من دیگه میتیک پلاس نمیزنم چون میتونم با دیوز آیتم های قوی بگیرم به صورت سولو بدون که اذیت هم حتی بشم و این چیز خیلی خوبیه و در آخر هفتگی هم چیز بگم اگر پی پی بازم دیگه ریواردم جدا میشه از پی و همه اکانت من با هم شیر اصلا عالیه من هر جوری بهتون بگم کم گفتم داستانش چیز جداست بحث جداست و اینکه it is what it is من خیلی راضیم به نظر من فوق العاده است حالا در رابطه با World Soul Saga که یک در واقع سگانه ای هست که میجر تایتان میجر داستانش هم داستان بیداری از اوراسه که لاست تایتان آخرین تایتان آخرین نسخه شه با وایسین ببینیم چی میشه این فعلا تا اینجای قضیه بوده و من خیلی خوشحالم بابت این موضوع یه بار دیگه من برای شما حالا نمیخوام سینماتیک رو پخش بکنم ولی یه بار دیگه فقط این رو میخوام پخش بکنم این رو ببینیم خیلی چیز هیجان انگیزیه اینو یه بار دیگه با هم دیگه میبینیمش بچه ها یه قلب برای خود چند بزنیم برای داستان ویدیو توی ویدیو اونایی که منتظر ویدیو داستانی هاجی والاک توی یوتیوب هن یه قلب بزنیم یوتیوب همون قرار جر بخوره the shadow taunting me from below from below as kahet i love door the ringing deep hollow fall shamshidaro دایو این تو دوز و دوز رو قرار تا آخر وف بیاره شده مثلا مثل رید که همیشه هست این یه سیستم همیشگی بازیه بچه ها سورجو وابن مستر هیرو تو کریزی مال فاکر این چیزری بود که من منتظرش بودم بچه ها چه تو میگم The fate of our world rests upon the edge of a knife And our battle must be within بهترین بلیسکانی بود که تو زندگیم دیدم و فوقلاده 